Okay, I'm back. As you can see, it's harder for me to move my mouth. And this is what it looks like when it dries. Now, a lot of the spots, if you'll get closer, you can see that's basically like my pores. That's going to work on my pores. And I wish I had gotten closer so you can see all those spots for my pores. But this is going to help bring out all those pores and clean them out. And the whole knot takes out all the dirt. If you know anything about charcoal math, that's what this does. So, I'm going to wash it off. So this part can be easy to talk to. Give me a few seconds to wash it off. So because I want you to see it literally just washes off. Be back. See, this is what it looks like when you begin to wash it off. I'll wash off the rest. I want you to see it literally washes off. And I also washed off my satin lip scrub. Now, you can do the mask as often as you want to. I don't recommend doing it every day. Once a week is sufficient. But if you feel like you really need a touch-up, touch-up, then I would say two to three times a week at the most. But if you do it weekly, you won't need to do it all the time. As you can see, I'm still a little shiny. It's just my spot, but it's a dull shine. So it, it helps with that as well, but it helps take care of my pores. Now, as I told you, I'm going to put on this lip balm. This is the uh, Mary Kay Intuitive pH Lip Balm. It's new and they're limited. So if you want these, I recommend that you get these as soon as possible. It looks like this. I'm going to take it out of the box. I always keep the box, especially when I'm showing it. So you pay attention to my lips because I'm not going to focus on it. I'm going to put on my moisturizer because I'm going to show you that in a minute. So, doesn't take a lot. You put it on just like you do any other lip balm or even lipstick. Okay. And what it'll do is it becomes specific to your pH and it'll tint your lips to where it has a natural look. So I'm going to get my moisturizer. Now, before I put my moisturizer on, I want to explain that if you're using any um, serums in between, like if you're using like even tone complexion or the serum C or anything that you want to put in between. And I was trying to see if I have any of my stuff here because um, today would not be the day that I use it. Like, as you can see, I have spots here and here. So I use the even tone. Um, and because of my age, I would probably need to step it up to um, the volume firm. But I've been using time-wise for well over 10 years. I stick to everything that's time-wise. And if it gets to the point where in the beginning that I'm not reducing um, aging, then I will step it up to volume firm. So... This is the day solution. The night solution um, is gray. So, of course, it's daytime. I'm using this one. So, when I wash my face tonight, I'm just going to basically use my 4-in-1 cleanser and then the night solution. So, they look exactly the same, except one is pink, one is gray. Um, I want you to show this what it looks like. You can get it without the SPF because for some people, it can irritate their skin. So... I use this one. I can use the um, SPF, but I much prefer this one. 
that's just my preference. So as you can see, very little. And you want to put this on, you go up and back, up and back, in a circuit, circular motion, okay? T-zone. So you want to put it on your forehead, bring it down your nose, make sure you get your jawline. And then that's it. That is basically all there is to doing simple basic skincare. Now, if you want to see about the makeup, I can do a makeup tutorial, but this purpose was solely just to show you my basic routine of what I do. And this is me being completely and totally transparent of showing you how I do my routine. This is my naked face. This is me sans makeup. So if I went out today and did whatever it is I want to do, this is probably how I look because like, see, these are my natural lashes. So when you see me in my makeup, you'll notice that this is what's underneath. These are my natural lashes. And the only thing I do is I add mascara to make it pop. I just brush out my eyebrows and straighten them out a bit. Add a little bit of liner to it and that's about it. But as you can see, see, I have these dark circles that's just inherited. I need stuff that I use to do that and I've been negligent. This is my transparency. I need to use more product too. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do this together. So I want you to see what my face looks naturally. I'm going to invest in probably getting the toning serum so that I can apply it to my face because it usually takes about three months and I will apply it. It's um, two, to three time, two to three times a week application and I will more than likely apply it at night versus day. So when I wash my face at night, I will make sure that I put it on. So this is me. I hope this was good. I apologize for it running long, but it takes long when I am trying to do the explanation of it. If I were to do an actual skin class face to face, this is what I would be doing face to face, except you would be doing it. And since I don't have any models because of the social distancing, because COVID has now spiked, so I can't really get with any client. Um, I will have to send you samples. So please feel, please feel free to contact me with samples and I will send you samples so that you can experiment. Let me know if you are combination oily or normal to dry and I will send you samples of it and you can try it out. Um, also, we have a skin analyzer app. I highly recommend you using the skin analyzer app because it will tell you exactly what products you need to use. Thank you for tuning in. I apologize for this being long. I hope this was extremely helpful. I take criticism. So if you need to give me comments or feedback in this video, how I can improve to make it better, or if I could take less out, let me know. You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. Please stay safe. God bless.